Good evening, hockey fans. On tonight's episode of the Penalty Box, we're going to break down the conference semifinal matchups for both the Eastern Conference and the Western Conference in the NHL playoffs. NHL. We'll have more information about these series and last night's results as the playoffs and semifinal rounds in both the conferences, Western and Eastern Conference, have kicked off. There's some uh, head turners and head scratchers between these teams. And a couple of division rivalries also in the Eastern Conference. We'll break down more of these and we'll have a couple other follow up news items coming up on this episode of the Pally Box. Don't go away! The following program shares opinions from its host and its host only. No opinions are those shared by League Arena officials or LeagueArena.com. View with caution. Before I get into the NHL playoffs, let me summarize what happened in the AHL quarterfinal rounds. The Falcons, the Springfield Falcons, the number one seed in the West, fell to the Milwaukee Admirals four games to one. That was by far one of the largest upsets in the AHL. The Sharks beat the Monarchs four games to one. Uh, the Texas Stars beat the Heat in seven, four games to three. Uh, and then the Perua Rivermen win their series in seven games over the San Antonio Rampage. In the Eastern Conference, you have the Tigers win over the Phantoms four games to two. The River Rats and the Penguins series had to go to seven games, and the Penguins were victorious uh, four games to three. The Norfolk Admirals fall to the Providence Bruins in seven games, four to three. And the Americans versus the Bulldogs, well, the Bulldogs win that series in seven games, four games to three. And now for the Eastern Conference NHL semifinal rounds. You have the top seed in the East, who were able to fend off a Game 7 against the Tampa Bay Lightning, uh, facing off against their individual rivals, the boss, uh, the Buffalo Sabres. Boston, Bru Boston Bruins and Buffalo Sabres have been going back and forth like crazy this year in the division. But in this series, and last night with the doubleheader, Boston was able to pull out an early two-game lead over the Buffalo Sabres. They won 2 nothing in Game 1, and Game 2, Buffalo tried coming back it went to two overtimes. Four to three was the final score in that game. Boston takes the two-game lead in that series. Now the other series, the New York Islanders going up against the Pittsburgh Penguins, another interdivision rivalry. The Islanders and the Pittsburgh Penguins have been duking it out back and forth with New Jersey to try and take over the division lead in that in that division. That's I'm talking about the Atlantic Division. In this series, the New York Islanders, or as I call them, the Cardiac Kids, they love to play in overtime. Tried to go up on the Pittsburgh Penguins. The Pittsburgh Penguins took game one, 3 nothing. New York Islanders came back in an epic defensive struggle that went to overtime, one nothing. They had shutout. Both games were shutouts, but New York Islanders bounced back and tied the series at one. And now for the Western Conference. In the Western Conference, you had, well, defending Stanley Cup champions, the Detroit Red Wings. Who have a chink in their armor? The Minnesota Wild were able to upset the Detroit Red Wings in their quarterfinal series by tying it up 2-2, two, two, two games to two. Detroit then came, bounced back and defeated the Minnesota Wild in the, the very next two games, won the series four games to two. Detroit is now going up against San Jose. San Jose swept the Edmonton Oilers. Detroit and San Jose, that series is now tied 1-1. Detroit won the first game 1-0. And San Jose came bouncing back and won the game, game two, four to three. That series is tied 1-1. Then there's the Phoenix Coyotes and the Los Angeles Kings in that series. The Nashville Predators lost to the Phoenix Coyotes in seven games, four to three. And St. Louis, amongst controversy, lost to the Kings four games to one. In the first game, it was 5 nothing Phoenix. In the second game, it was 4-3 to three Los Angeles in overtime. That series is tied 1-1. 
You only have one series in the NHL playoffs right now that is two games to none, and that's the Boston versus Buffalo series. After this quick short break, I'll come back with my predictions. That's my predictions here at the penalty box, not anybody else's, about who's going to win these series and who's going to meet in the conference championships. Coming up after this quick break, don't go away. The penalty box. Presented by LeagueArena.com, the largest online gaming community in the world, with VHL Network and League Arena News. Stay connected. Welcome back. Like I said in the previous segment, these series are going to be fantastic to watch. I mean, this is playoff hockey at its best. And frankly, in my opinion, I'm going to break down what teams I feel are going to move on and end in how many games. I'm going to start off with the Eastern Conference. And personally, I think it's going to come down to Boston and the New York Islanders meeting in the conference semifinal or the conference finals. I don't think Buffalo has what it takes to take down the Boston Bruins. The Boston Bruins had a tough, tough opening uh, quarterfinals matchup against the, the defending Eastern Conference champs, the Tampa Bay Lightning. They were able to beat them in seven games. I think Boston's going to roll on with that momentum they gained from that epic series against uh, Tampa Bay. I don't think Buffalo has enough to to to. to to counteract Boston's uh, momentum. I think this, this uh, series is going to go to five games, but I think Boston's going to be victorious. The New York Islanders and the Pittsburgh Penguins season on the other uh, series, on the other hand, I think it's going to go the distance. But I think the Islanders are going to win game seven in overtime and face off against the Boston Bruins. And that's the East. Now here's the West. Buckle your seatbelts, folks, because you heard it here first on the penalty box. I think the San Jose Sharks are going to beat the Detroit Red Wings in seven games. I don't think Tiny's, um, TBU Tiny's strategy of matching lines, because he didn't ma- he, he came out and said he didn't match up the lines against the Minnesota Wild, and the Minnesota Wild were able to steal two games in that series. I think San Jose is going to be able to play their defensive trap style hockey and beat Detroit's, or at least steal a game from Detroit's all-star line, the number one line. I think the San Jose team has more depth than the Detroit Red Wings. That's my personal opinion. I think the San Jose is going to beat the Detroit Red Wings in seven games, and I think they're going to face off against the Phoenix Coyotes. I don't think the Los Angeles Kings have enough firepower to shut down the Pirelli Twins. I really don't. They may have beat Phoenix um, in overtime, four to three. They stole a game. They the series is tied one one. I just I think Phoenix is going to beat Los Angeles in six games. I think it's going to be San Jose against Phoenix. Division rivals. Uh, Phoenix will be the home team because they won the division. It's going to be Phoenix, San Jose in the West. And in the East, I think it's going to be Boston and New York Islanders. You heard it here first on the penalty box. That's my personal opinion. That's my take. I'll take full responsibility for it. You go ahead. Players of the other teams, I mean no disrespect to you or your organizations, especially the defending Santa Cup champs. However, I just feel that these other teams want it more than you do. That's just the way it is. So... That's my pick. That's your current NHL playoff breakdown. We will be following these series every other night here on the Penalty Box. Or if any other information or news breaks in the VHL, you'll hear it here first on the Penalty Box. To follow up on last night's story about the Peora Rivermen and the St. Louis Blues organization, I mean no disrespect to any players on both teams in that organization that play legit. I wish everybody the best of luck in that organization in the AHL playoffs. As far as the St. Louis Blues, for the guys that actually showed up and gave their all in that series, it sucks that one of your own teammates was that pissed off at the owner that had to go out of his way and spend real money to throw the game. I mean, that's a slap in the face to all players, not just you guys on St. Louis. Well, that's all we have for tonight's show, folks. Tune in next week or next episode when we cover the playoffs. So, from here at the Penalty Box to you hockey fans at home, gearing up for the playoffs, we'll see you at Ceteris when the puck drops. Good night. the players involved in that controversy and that scandal, get the fuck out of the, sea, the, the, the league. Just be gone. Well, that's the cure of that.